From time to time, we receive questions such as, will the saw head work with my particular brand of saw? Or, what if I don't have accessory holes? Well, here are some examples, starting with a DeWalt DW718. First, you'll need a piece of half-inch copper pipe and a half-inch coupler. This will act as a reducer and eliminate any slop due to the fact that the DeWalt attachment holes are larger than the saw hood mounting posts. Once the copper shims are in place, the saw hood mounts in seconds with no major setup and removes just as easily with no major cleanup, saving you time and money. Depending on the make and model, some saws may not come with accessory mounts. No problem. Here's a simple solution. Integrated into the back side of the peacock tail is a mounting plate with two screw holes. Simply remove the sliding arms, screw to a workbench or saw table, and in seconds you're ready to cut. If you wish to use the sliding arms on a mobile workbench, cut a piece of half inch plywood approximately the depth of your saw and about 10 to 12 inches wider and place on your saw stand. Now position your saw on the plywood and drill for the appropriate mounting holes. You can either attach your saw through the plywood to the mounting rails or bolt the plywood to the mounting rails. Then screw the saw to the plywood. This method allows quick detachment from the plywood. Now we'll mount two 2x4s on either side of the saw cut approximately to the same depth as the base of the saw. The saw hood arms are adjustable so the 2x4s don't have to be equidistant from the base of the saw, so adjust accordingly. Next, mark and drill holes for the mounting posts using a 5 8 drill bit. Be sure to align the holes behind the saw fence to keep the arms out of the workflow. Now you're ready to install. Once the saw hood is mounted, simply drop, seal, and chop. We hope this video has been helpful as we continue to serve our customers and improve our products. Thank you for choosing FastCap.